This high level math skill involves you to be able to interpret all the parts of this graph, complete the square and use that to find the turning point. So let's have a look at it. It's a graph of y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3. An x squared graph will always look like a u shape like this. Now the key point that we can tell from the graph is this minus 3 here. This is the intercept on the y axis. Or when x is 0 we know that y is minus 3. And again if you're not sure about that Imagine substituting 0 into this equation, y equals x squared, well 0 squared is 0, minus 2 lots of 0, which is still 0, minus 3 makes minus 3. OK. Right, so now we're going to have to find the coordinate of the turning point. To do that, we complete the square on the equation. There's a separate video on working out how to complete the square, but I'll just very briefly run through the method which we usually teach. That's to look at your number before the x and to halve it. Half of minus 2 is minus 1. So we write that in this format. So we've halved that number, that minus 2, and got minus 1. Half of minus 2 is minus 1. Now once we've got our new number, which in this case is minus 1, we square that number, or minus 1 squared is also 1, and we take it away. And then we've also got to remember to put our minus 3 on the end. Neatening that up, we've got y equals x minus 1 squared minus 4. Now if you're not sure about completing the square, do some separate study on that, and that will certainly help you in this skill. Now we've completed the square, we can work out the minimum point, the turning point, because it's always the opposite of this number, and then the actual version of this number. So the opposite of minus 1 is 1, and the real version of minus 4 is minus 4. So that's my turning point, I'm going to plot that on the graph now, so 1 minus 4 will be over here. And now I can draw the graph, remembering it's a U-shaped graph with a turning point at 1 minus 4, and it goes through minus 3. So something like that. It hasn't asked me to do anything else on the graph, no roots, not where it crosses any axis, it just wants to know the coordinate of the turning point. Okay, so a very similar question now for you to try and do. Start by working out where it crosses the y-axis, y the y-intercept. Complete the square to work out the coordinate, and pause now before the answer comes up. OK, so here goes. So, so its minimum point is minus 9. We need to complete the square now to work out the turning point. Start by halving the middle number. Half of plus 6 is plus 3. 3 squared is 9, so take away 9. And then don't forget the other takeaway 9 as well. All we need to do now is neaten it up. And then remember that it's the opposite rule of the first number and the proper version of the second number to work out your minimum turning point. In this case, minus 3 and minus 18. So that's going to be our minimum point. Let's add that to the diagram. And finally, we'll draw in the curve. You'll see for my diagram it isn't an accurate drawing, it is just a sketch. But the most important skill from this point is to be able to work out the coordinate of the turning point itself. Complete the square, use the opposites rule on the first number.